Hey folks, I'm doing a recipe today that uh, has been kind of going around in my head for a while. I love Indian food and uh, this is a tandoori masala pulled pork. Uh, masala is just basically a term or generic term that means spice. Uh, I picked this tandoori masala up at a local Indian uh, supermarket where I live, but uh, if you don't have any Indian supermarkets, you can generally find in your grocery store a gram masala, which can be used as, as a substitute because the ingredients for this is cardamom, uh, cumin, coriander, chilies, turmeric, uh, cinnamon, black pepper, ginger, dried mango, onion, garlic, fenugreek, uh, cloves, and spices, and it is absolutely wonderful. Normally you don't see pork in most Indian dishes. Uh, I don't know why, but you don't. Uh, generally it's chicken or lamb or uh, uh, sheep, something like that. But I want to try this out with the pulled pork. So what I have here is one and a half cups of plain yogurt. You want plain yogurt. And I've got three tablespoons of the uh, tandoor, tandoori masala. I've got two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. You always want to use fresh. I've got a tablespoon of olive oil. Two teaspoons of sea salt. And my friend in India, his name is Sridhar, he suggested uh, honey. So I've got two tablespoons of local honey. So now let's whisk this up without making a mess. Okay, the marinade is fully incorporated. And now I have here a uh, three pound Boston butt. And definitely use a large bag. I, I hate when I have to like use a, something small to crowd in so much. So to this bag, I'm gonna add this tandoori masala. Seal it up. Squeeze out any excess air. And then just kind of roll it around and massage it. Get those flavors all around. I can, I can smell it. This is going to be amazing. Okay, so this is the first step. I'm going to refrigerate this overnight and then uh, finish it off on the grill tomorrow. And uh, stay tuned to see how well this turns out. I got a feeling it's going to be really good. I'm still trying to figure out how to serve it, so uh, I've got some ideas. So stay tuned. Okay, it's been uh, overnight, folks, and the uh, Boston butt is ready to go on the grill. I got the grill dome fired up, and I actually have uh, the firebox filled up with uh, lump charcoal, and I got a stick of pecan. Absolutely love pecan. And you'll see right here, I have the uh, kick ash basket for my firebox. I'll put a link in the description box below. This thing is really handy if you've got one of these Kamado style type uh, grills. Uh, several of my uh, other YouTube buddies told me about it and uh, I immediately ordered one and I, I tell you I do love it. So let's get this on the grill though. It's running, running right at 300 degrees which is fine and this probably shouldn't take very long. 
I'm thinking about four hours. Man, it smells incredible. Okay, I'm just gonna let it go like that and after about four hours, I'm gonna check it with a meat thermometer, see if it's ready to go and then uh, we'll pull it off and then uh, shred it up. So please stay tuned. Okay folks, I gotta apologize. I, I couldn't finish this video last night because it started raining and uh, even though I'm under a covered patio, I was able to continue cooking the pulled pork, but all of my equipment is out exposed and I did not want to get my cameras and mics and everything wet in the rain. So <clears throat> I figured I'd postpone the end. Um, so actually I, uh, I let this go for five and a half hours, this three and a half pound Boston butt. And after uh, five and a half hours, it was perfectly tender. It was like 207 degrees internal temperature, which is perfect. And it shredded beautifully. I, I took it inside, shredded it up, and this is what I ended up with. And it absolutely looks fantastic. And it tastes fantastic. Mmm. The tandoori masala is, uh, I can taste it, but it's very, very mild. I think uh, next time I do this, I'm gonna increase that. Cause I used two tablespoons of the tandoori masala. And uh, I think I should probably, well, I used three. I should probably go to four tablespoons. So uh, that's what I'll do next time. But all in all, I think this is a hit. Now, I just need to come up with an Indian-inspired barbecue sauce to go with this. So, if anybody has any suggestions for an Indian-style barbecue sauce, please leave me a comment. And uh, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and uh, stay tuned. I'm definitely going to do this again with pork ribs. So, stay tuned. <laughs>